okay guys so there was one issue that I faced is when you go over here when you're loading X it needs to be a two-dimensional array so you basically need to have um, for now just two square brackets so that if you have any other column in X you could you know put it here so it's expecting a 2d array so that's the reason it was giving an error so once you do this it should work fine and then you just uh, to train your model you just call CLF which is the model that we trained dot fit on X train and Y train and then just enter this and then this works fine okay and then what we could do is now uh, once you do this and you call this let's see what X test has okay uh, let's see X test so now this is what X test looks like okay and now we're going to ask our model to use this X test and predict what the salary is all right so to do that it's very simple what you need to do is just call CLF dot predict X test so that's the method and then this is what the prediction is okay we already have the data where you know we know what the uh, data is so this is what the actual salary is what's Y test all right and this is what the prediction is so you, you can ignore the last points but this is it so it's pretty close okay but it's not completely accurate so this is 74,000 something and then it says 66,000 here and this is 53,789 and it says 60,000 so it's close but it's not uh, perfect so what we could do is we could also check the accuracy of this data uh, or the model and the way to do that is just clf dot score and then it just takes two parameters x test and y test okay so what it sh says is you know this is our accuracy so it takes this x test which is the prediction that we are making it takes x test and makes a prediction which is y okay and then it already has the y test which we are passing here and it just compares the prediction and it checks the accuracy so that's how you would check the accuracy but the biggest takeaway from this uh, video is how would you split the data and so you load the data just put in your inputs x y and then this method from sklearn is where you know you can just split the data and you have it available as these variables right i hope this was useful thanks bye